Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Friday, October 13th. I'm Christy Matino. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise announced he's withdrawing his bid to be House Speaker. That's despite winning the conference's nomination on Wednesday. He dropped out of the race Thursday night after failing to gain enough support in the House GOP conference to be elected in a floor vote. But he said he would remain as Majority Leader. This country is counting on us to come back together. This House of Representatives needs a speaker and we need to open up the House again. But clearly, not everybody is there. His withdrawal comes after some GOP members shared concerns about Scalise's ability to serve as speaker with his recent blood cancer diagnosis and health concerns. With this announcement, it is likely that other Republicans will now join the race to replace the former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. And the United States Capitol Police is enhancing security throughout the Capitol on Friday as leaders of Hamas, the terrorist group who attacked Israel, called for Global Day of protests. The Capitol Police told the Washington Examiner there are no specific threats to Congress at this time, but they are taking those extra precautions. Capitol Police said due to safety reasons, they cannot share with the public about the resources they are putting into place. The FBI said on Thursday it was working with law enforcement nationwide to monitor the response to calls from a former Hamas leader for all Muslims to join the battle against Israel. The FBI is asking the public to report anything suspicious to law enforcement. Chairman of the House Small Business Committee Congressman Roger Williams is now launching an investigation into a new rule from the Biden administration that would make single-use gun sellers subject to gun dealing licenses. Well, back in September, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives proposed a change that would force nearly 25,000 new people to legally register for a federal firearms license, functionally turning them into a small business. It would also require a gun owner who wants to sell only one of their firearms to register as a federally licensed firearms dealer if they plan to make a profit. And now Williams and the committee are demanding answers from the ATF on the rules effect on small businesses. Thanks for joining us here on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines turning politics.